San Antonio Soccer Examiner so Chris Hoffman here with the wrap up of week 14 of MLS action. Uh, apologies, but I won't be able to do any highlights on my computer. Just isn't uh, able to handle that one at the moment. And uh, also apologies for my uh, for my absence lately. My family uh, was visiting from Australia, and uh, and I haven't been able to see them uh, in about 18 months. So I've been spending time with them, uh, but now they've gone back to Australia. And now I am free to uh, to do these videos. But thanks for uh, sticking by me through all that. But it was a busy week for a number of MLS teams, uh, with a number of visiting European clubs in town, and that forced a number of matches to Wednesday night. And things got started when DC United hosted the New England Revolution, and really it was a match of missed chances for DC as they fell to a one 0 loss. The Revolution snapping a nine-game winless streak. Matt Race was the hero for the Revolution, producing a number of great saves as Dwayne De Rosario looked particularly dangerous. DC United won a penalty after a failed handball just before the half, only to see Davies' shot sail well over the bar. United continued to dominate after half-time before the Revolution introduced Nyasi and began to come more and more into this match. And in the 73rd minute, it was a set piece that saw the Rebs take the lead as Stephen McCarthy got free of his defender and sent, in, sent a glancing header home after a superb corner kick. DC United continued to push, trying to find a goal, but it was Rice who continued to come up big, earning the Rebs three points. And Toronto FC were confident of turning things around as they hosted FC Dallas in the first match for their new signings, their new designated players, Danny Kogemans and Torsten Friggs. But it wasn't to be as Breck Shea scored his game-winning goal four minutes after the half after the halftime break. Hartman yet again came up big for Dallas as they kept on rolling Toronto's new look lineup. Looked dangerous, uh, but just weren't able to produce the goals needed as FC Dallas won one 0 It was a goal fest in Denver as the champions destroyed the New York Red Bulls in what might be the biggest upset of the season this uh, so far, the loss highlighting a real issue of depth for the Red Bulls as Hans Becker refused to go to the bench until far too late, feeling that his bench players weren't good enough for the team. The Rapids opened the scoring early with Nyasi scoring in the first minute to some neat work at the top of the penalty area. Oh no, Cummings. Nyasi's second came in the 30th minute as he punished poor work from the New York defence. The hat trick was complete on the hour yet again, embarrassing the New York defence. He also provided the assist for the fourth after his initial shot came off the post in the 26th minute allowing Thompson to score the rebound. Thierry Henry was the only bright spot for New York, scoring a consolation goal in the 67th minute. The LA Galaxy extended their unbeaten run and now stands at 13 as they defeated the Columbus Crew 1-0. It wasn't an overly successful night for the Galaxy as they failed to convert their chances. Um, most notably their corner kick count was up to 16 attempts as they failed to produce a goal. The match took a turn in the third minute as an injury to Mendoza forced the crew to play with only one man up front, leaving the match as a defensive battle for the most part. It wasn't until the 70th minute. The LA finally broke through. Beckham's free kick counting off the wall found Franklin, who was able to unleash a shot from 30 yards. A cruel deflection off of Gehrig saw the Galaxy take the lead and the three points. Both New York and Dallas played in their second match of the week as they met on Saturday, fighting out an entertaining 2 2 draw. New York controlled the match in the first half and they took the lead in the 39th minute as Richards found Agudela under pressure, who still managed to chip Hartman FC Dallas. Okay, now from the break, however, determined to turn things around. They got their breakthrough in the 50th minute, thanks to a great build-up. Chavez finishing off the play after a nice through ball. The goal opened up the match, turning the match into an end-to-end -end affair. And in the 78th minute, Dallas took the lead. Benitez sent the ball into the box. John deflected the ball to Papa of Chavez, who produced a great finish. But it wasn't a B for FC Dallas, as New York scored an equaliser with just five minutes to rating. Thanks to Thierry Henry taking the golden boot lead just after Tate Richards' second yellow card. Dex Cardi haunted his former club, setting up Rory for the win. Columbus Crew became joint leaders at the Eastern Conference as they defeated the Portland Timbers 1 0 at Crew Stadium. It looked like it was going to be a story of what could have been for the crew. The referee denied a goal for the crew after a desperate goal line clearance replay showed that perhaps the goal may have crossed the line and should the goal should have stood. Even the woodwork denied the crew as their goalless streak looked to continue, but it was Eddie Gavin to the rescue for the crew who 
but he broke the streak in the 79th minute he was the quickest to react to a rebound off the post and in the crew one nil win and it was another goal fest in Kansas as Toronto FC came to town with the hosts running out 4-2 winners in a scorcher of a night as temperatures topped 100 degrees in Kansas City it all started with the frantic Nine minutes for KC as Kamara opened the scoring in the 28th minute for a spectacular scissor kick gave him his brace in the 34th minute. Just three minutes later it was 3-0 and Toronto were in trouble after Bravo scored. Toronto came out from the break determined and it only took five minutes for them to pull one back as Kovman scored his first MLS goal but KC effectively ended the match through the in the 64th minute, Bravo also managing a brace. Ryan Johnson made it an interesting finish for Toronto. So he pulled them back to within two, but it was too little too late as KC notched up a home win. Colorado looked to back up their solid performance earlier in the week as New England travelled to Denver, but it was a bit more disappointing a result for the host as they only managed a 2-2 draw. All points are vital, but this was certainly a case of two points lost for the Rapids. Leading 2-1 and with a man advantage heading into the final whistle, the Rapids gave away a penalty in the 90th minute, and that allowed Joseph to slot home the penalty to secure the point for the visitors. Fail Hubbard scored the opener for the visitors, and it wasn't looking good until the relief came through a penalty of their own. In the 63rd minute for the crew, Nayasi heading clean on goal, only to be taken out by Cummings, who earned a red card. And Forlan was able to slot home the penalty. And in the 82nd minute, Colorado looked to have wrapped things up after Kimura sent a ball into the box. Rice let the ball bounce over his head and into the back of the net. New England fought hard, and it was Man Sally who eventually earned the match winning penalty. Real Salt Lake showed what they were capable of as they demolished San Jose 4 0 at Rio Tinto Stadium. That was the first goal. Time that things didn't go as well. It took a long time for the match to open up. However, but uh, eventually it did. Although only after a controversial rig card after Saborio went down under what appeared to be to be generous to Saborio, minimal contact. Uh, and that saw Burling sent off Saborio converted the resulting penalty for a 1-0 lead. Saborio then got his brace in the 75th minute as Real Salt Lake really looked to take advantage of the extra man. Just moments later, Warner's shot, Warner got in the way of Saborio's shot. And the deflection fell to Beckman, who scored the third. The punishment wasn't over for San Jose yet, as Alave added the fourth for RSL in the 83rd minute to wrap up a convincing win for Real. Two undefeated streaks went on the line as Chivas USA hosted the Houston Dynamo, and it was the Dynamo who left with their streak in tatters, falling to a 3 0 defeat on the back. On the back of an impressive performance from Justin Braun scoring his second hat-trick of the season. Yet again, the Dynamo rude their missed chances, coming close on a number of occasions. But it was a fast-paced match, and that was where Shivas got their opener. After a great run from Jezic, Jezic saw Braun snuck, sneak through the defence, and a deft touch opened the scoring. Just ten minutes later, Braun was at it again, making it two, sending home a pass that was deflected into his feet. The Dynamo went for it in the second half, but their poor finishing cost them dearly, as did Watson's second yellow in the 70th minute, all but ending their chances. Braun wrapped up his hat-trick on a counter-attack in the 86th minute, allowing Shivas USA to defeat the Dynamo 3-0. So tomorrow sees the MLS All-Stars attempt to get some revenge against Manchester United, while the World Football Challenge, of course, continues throughout the country. Let's hope that the MLS does all the MLS teams and the MLS All-Stars do us all proud. And make sure you stay tuned for another MLS video recap next Tuesday, and as always, be sure to visit examiner.com, the internet source for the local. See you next Tuesday.